So I've been wanting to um, experiment with ways of sealing electronics so it's totally protected from the environment that it's in. Um, and uh, somebody on Twitter suggested I try uh, the resins that are used in uh, jewellery. So I bought a kit uh, on eBay um, and it comes it comes with loads of stuff and I will post uh, a link to my blog with some more pictures. But amongst all this other stuff, it comes with this uh, what, what I think is a two-part resin. Um, it's obviously uh, all written in Chinese, but the the quantities imply that, that this is how you mix it, and so do the sizes of the bottle bottles. Um, so you just kind of mix it, um, and then you they also supply a silicon. Um, so for jewelry, they supply this silicon uh, mold. For you to put it in but I actually just put it in a bag and then placed it inside a, a cup um, and uh, let it dry and it, there's no English instructions at all um, so I just kind of had to guess uh, like how long it would take but there's some stuff on the internet that suggests it should cure within a few hours um, but it's highly dependent on humidity and I found that it's this is after 24 hours and it's still a little bit tacky um, but it is kind of solid. So uh, I wanted to see how it would work out. So I use this solar lantern kit. Um, it's the kind of thing that you know you do want to put outside. So um, this is a solar lantern design that's kind of um, that I have on my shop, and I just embedded it in in the resin. Uh, so I put it in a plastic bag and then inside a cup. And I was hoping I would be able to remove it easily, but actually I just had to break the cup to get it out. It was all that some of the resin had leaked out and it kind of. Um, was kind of jammed into the cup, which is kind of annoying. So I think if I was going to do this properly, I wanted I'd want to design like um, I don't know how if you can get silicon molds made or maybe a three D printed mold that, like that you could pull apart. Um, yeah, that would be how I do it. But I haven't tried sticking it in water yet, so I'm going to try and stick it in water um, on camera. It's charging at the moment. Um, it does have a, a solar panel attached to it, but uh, it discharged while it was uh, curing. So I've just got it attached to a power supply. So if I turn off the power supply and then throw it in some water, it all seems to be um, yeah completely sealed and it works fine. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that actually. Um, I'm going to be seeing if I can buy just the resin uh, on eBay. I'm sure you can. Um, and then I'll be doing some more experiments with this because this seems like a really nice way of sealing your electronics and making it watertight um, yeah so the battery and everything is kind of sealed up in there so yeah I just wanted to do a very very quick video on that